This is the second extension exercise and should only be completed once you've got a working version of the pedestrian crossing and your teacher tells you to do so. What you've actually managed to code is a version of a pedestrian crossing called a puffin crossing. As an extension task, see if you can find out online what the difference is between the sequence of traffic lights for a puffin crossing, what you've just done, and a pelican crossing, which is the more common sort of pedestrian crossing. Try and adapt your program so that it now represents a pelican crossing, not a puffin crossing. As a further extension, see if you can figure out how to make your program wait for a certain amount of time before it responds to another pedestrian press. Obviously, we don't want traffic to be halted every 30 seconds, and so we should wait a suitable amount of time before we start looking for another button press from a pedestrian. This is actually as simple as adding a single line of code, but what line it is and where exactly in your program you need to put it is for you to figure out.